Pluto, the dwarf planet located at the far reaches of our solar system, is moving closer within our galaxy. Recent reports suggest it may encounter Neptune, raising concerns among scientists and space enthusiasts. Notable experts, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have warned about the possible consequences of this cosmic clash. So, how did Pluto end up on a path toward its distant neighbor, and what could this potential collision mean for Earth? Let's explore this unfolding situation. Once recognized as a true planet, Pluto was later reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit. Despite this change, it continues to fascinate and draw the attention of astronomers. Recent predictions from leading researchers indicate a concerning closeness between Pluto's orbit and Neptune's. These experts warn of a potential crash between the two planets, posing a serious risk to Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun is defined by its unique features within our solar system. Its orbit takes an astonishing 248 years to complete, and since it was discovered in 1930, Pluto has not yet finished a full revolution. Adding to its allure is the highly elongated shape of its orbit, which differs from the nearly circular paths of the major planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbit tilts at 17 degrees to the plane of the solar system, making its path steeper compared to other planets. One interesting aspect of Pluto's orbit is that it crosses Neptune's path. For about 20 years during each orbit, Pluto gets closer to the Sun and Neptune, which goes against expectations based on their positions. So why hasn't a collision happened yet? The answer lies in the gravitational pull of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit started soon after it was discovered, presenting a challenging puzzle for astronomers. Unlike most planets, which have orbits that are nearly flat, Pluto's unique characteristics include a steep tilt and an elongated shape. The mystery deepened when scientists realized that Pluto's orbit intersects with Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities shows how intricate celestial mechanics can be. The three-body problem in space involves understanding how three celestial bodies, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact through gravity. This problem explains the complicated relationship between their orbits and gravitational forces. Concepts like libration, semi-major axis, and the COSI mechanism help us understand this celestial puzzle. Astrophysicists state that the libration mechanism, which helps keep planets in their orbits, is crucial for understanding Pluto and Neptune. This mechanism indicates that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, which prevents possible collisions. The COSI mechanism ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other large planets, it is positioned above their orbital plane, adding extra protection against impacts. This explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun may seem chaotic but remains stable over time. Despite its seemingly random nature, simulations in the late 1980s revealed that Pluto's orbit is actually chaotic, with small initial changes leading to significant shifts over thousands of years. Still, Pluto's unusual orbit remains stable over incredibly long periods, keeping disorder under control. Recent computer models have enhanced our understanding of how large planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path. Neptune's unique relationship with Pluto, completing three orbits for every two of Pluto, greatly contributes to the stability of Pluto's orbit. Additionally, Jupiter's strong gravity has a major impact, while Saturn's influence, though smaller, also plays a role. Through detailed studies, scientists have shown that the combined effects of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn help maintain Pluto's safe and stable movement in space for billions of years. These factors are essential for keeping the order and consistency of celestial movements in the universe. Without these mechanisms, the solar system could experience significant chaos and instability, potentially leading to collisions or changes in the paths of other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is particularly important when discussing the possibility of a future collision with Neptune. This information helps clarify the dynamic nature of the planetary system. Pluto's situation illustrates how orbits that seem unstable can achieve stability through the complex interactions of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Ongoing observation and analysis of these phenomena are crucial for better understanding our place in the universe. 
Exploring space often reveals the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as a fascinating example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos shows how a celestial body's path depends on its initial conditions. For Pluto, even slight changes in its position or speed can significantly affect its long-term orbit. Computer simulations have been vital in helping researchers understand how Pluto moves through space. By making small adjustments in these simulations, astronomers can see how tiny changes can greatly impact Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed an interesting aspect of Pluto's orbit. Despite features like libration and the COSI mechanism that contribute to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still show irregularities. Even a small initial difference in Pluto's position or speed can lead to large changes in its orbit over many years. Despite this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an incredibly long time, spanning billions of years. This suggests that beneath its seemingly erratic appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows a structured order. Predicting cosmic events and the future paths of celestial bodies, especially those with unusual orbits like Pluto, is challenging. The inherent instability of these systems makes long-term predictions uncertain. Computer models assist us in understanding and anticipating the future paths of celestial bodies, but they also reveal the limits of our predictive abilities. These models depend heavily on accurate initial conditions and replicate complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions difficult. The erratic characteristics of celestial trajectories, such as Pluto's, serve as a reminder of the constantly evolving universe. Although we have advanced in our comprehension of space, Pluto's situation underscores our persistent gaps in knowledge. Grasping the gravitational influences of large planets on Pluto's orbit offers significant insights into the broader mechanics of the solar system. It illustrates how each planet's existence and location can impact the stability and course of other celestial bodies. In spite of these intricacies, leading astrophysicists are voicing concerns regarding a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist known for redefining Pluto as a dwarf planet, provides a distinctive perspective on the enigmas of our solar system, particularly concerning Pluto. Tyson, celebrated for his astute insights on cosmic dynamics, regards Pluto's reclassification not as a demotion, but as a necessary adaptation to our developing understanding of celestial entities orbiting the Sun. His approach to cosmic mechanics emphasizes ongoing learning and flexibility. He interprets the intricacies of orbits like Pluto's as indicative of the vast knowledge yet to be uncovered in space. Tyson believes that the fascination surrounding these inquiries renders the study of cosmology particularly captivating. Additionally, he recognizes how events and discoveries related to space spark public interest in astronomy. He views occurrences like Pluto's reclassification and its unusual orbit as valuable chances to ignite the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes bizarre aspects of cosmic mechanics, Tyson aspires to foster a deeper appreciation and enthusiasm for the cosmos. He opens a portal for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of space. Collaborating with fellow researchers, Tyson actively alerts the public to the potential dangers of Pluto's unpredictable trajectory. Following extensive analysis of Pluto, he has raised alarms about the three-body problem posing a significant risk, suggesting that a collision with Neptune may be overdue. Furthermore, Tyson stresses how such an impact could disrupt the equilibrium of the universe and lead to dire consequences, extending even to Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be an extraordinary and disastrous occurrence within our solar system. This event could unleash a tremendous amount of energy potentially shattering Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the impact could disperse throughout the solar system, endangering other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an event could alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the particulars of the collision. Michio Kaku, a distinguished theoretical physicist renowned for his work in string theory and science communication, presents a new perspective on this situation. His insights regarding the future of space exploration and the connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide significant understanding of phenomena like Pluto's orbit. 
Kaku regards the examination of Pluto and its orbit as a window into the future of space exploration. According to Kaku, comprehending the intricate gravitational interactions and orbital traits of celestial bodies like Pluto can offer essential insights for forthcoming space missions. This knowledge can enhance navigation through the solar system, anticipate potential threats, and facilitate plans for missions to the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the insights gained from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to exploring other celestial entities, providing a guide for understanding distant worlds. When discussing planetary physics, Kaku frequently underscores the profound connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational relationship between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated phenomena but are linked to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, particularly in string theory, aims to comprehend these principles at their most fundamental level. He posits that analyzing the complexities of celestial mechanics, such as Pluto's orbit, can illuminate insights into the foundational laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also addressed the potential collision, relating it to his theories about the cosmos. Should Pluto and Neptune collide, it would represent a significant moment in astronomy, offering a remarkable opportunity for observation that could deepen our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework that replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. The impact of such magnitude within the solar system could generate extreme conditions of energy and gravity, providing insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under intense conditions, a central focus in string theory. The gravitational waves produced by the collision could yield valuable data for testing predictions related to string theory, gravity, and spacetime. While the direct effect on Earth would be minimal due to our distance from the outer solar system, the scientific ramifications of such an event could be profound potentially enhancing our comprehension of the fundamental nature of the universe as articulated by string theory and other domains of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit exemplifies a unique instance of celestial mechanics, illustrating both stability and chaos within our solar system. The distinctive characteristics of its orbit, shaped by the gravitational forces of nearby planets, especially Neptune, underscore the unpredictable and dynamic essence of space. The universe conceals many secrets, and the three-body problem is just one of them. There are additional potential catastrophes that scientists anticipate. While the probability of planetary collisions in space is extremely low, it is not entirely out of the realm of possibility. The manner in which planetary orbits are influenced by various factors, including gravitational interactions, is explained by the three-body problem. In certain space systems, such as TRAPPIST-1, which contains seven Earth-sized planets, Gravitational forces create a rhythmic pattern known as orbital resonances. Over time, these patterns can render planetary paths less stable, potentially leading to collisions. Despite the densely packed nature of systems like TRAPPIST-1, impacts are not currently occurring. Scientists closely monitor these systems to understand how planets affect one another's paths, especially when they are in close proximity. This knowledge enhances our appreciation of planetary movements in space. Rogue planets, which drift through space without orbiting a star, introduce another unusual factor. These planets, once part of a stellar system, can be ejected due to gravitational disturbances or other celestial events, such as the close passage of another star or dynamic instability in their original systems. Over time, these wandering planets can traverse vast distances, potentially reaching areas far from their original locales. During their solitary journeys, they might intersect with other stellar systems. If one of these rogue planets were to enter another planetary system, there is a slight chance of colliding with a planet within that system. However, given the vast and mostly empty nature of space, the likelihood of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is exceedingly low. The enormity of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space serve to diminish the frequency of collisions. Furthermore, rogue planets are relatively rare compared to the number of stars and planets in stable orbits, making such encounters even less likely.